Hey you guys, as you can see, I am taping in my bedroom again. Excuse the laptop if it's wobbly because it is in my lap. This video is well overdue. This is a video discussing my hair regimen. Let me explain why it's well overdue. I didn't think I needed to post a video of my hair regimen because I had that maintaining healthier natural hair video, so I figured people could watch that but obviously there have been a few requests um, and some of my friends have actually requested what do you do with your hair so speaking of today y'all look at this hairstyle I'm rocking this is my attempt at a Charger inspired bun I'll post a link to how she does her bunning um, so yeah this is how I rocked my hair today for work it's kind of coming down um, but it worked today and it was so dramatic that some people left me alone at work today. <laughs> I need to edit that, but I'm not. All right, y'all. So I'm going to break this up by what are my go-to products? What did I do as far as styling, trimming, dusting, detangling, um, heat, all of that. I'm, I don't know how to break this up. I'm thinking about time frame. So what do I do daily, weekly, monthly? every three months yearly what do I do so daily every day y'all I check my hair and ensure that my hair is properly moisturized it takes a few minutes a day to check your hair to make sure it's properly moisturized if I am finding that my hair is a little bit drier because I do I do live in a drier climate I go to my oils y'all already know within this container I have six different oils I will put them below in the description box cuz I forgot what I all got in here now I recently started out adding lavender oil um, I even add lavender oil sometimes just use lavender oil by itself to the ends of my hair it smells so good and a little bit goes a long way it really does y'all so every day I check my hair for moisture sometimes I just add a little water sometimes I add a little leave-in conditioner I don't need to add if I don't need to add anything I don't do anything okay weekly of course I do my co-wash every week now y'all before I had my baby I would start the process on Saturday and Saturday and Sunday will be dedicated to my hair I ain't, got the time. I ain't got that kind of time right now. I don't have that type of time. So now that I work from home every now and then, I may wash my hair on a Tuesday. I may wash it on a Wednesday. It may stretch to nine days. It may stretch to eight days. It's going to stretch because I just don't have that type of time now. My go-to for washing my hair, and of course I'm washing my hair with conditioner, is either Suave or VO5. I absolutely love the almond and shea butter conditioner by Suave. I still have that big haul that I did back, oh god, I think I was still pregnant then. I still have some of that stuff, you guys. Um, I also use, even though this is the shampoo, I use the Suave Tropical Coconut. Love that stuff. VO5, I use the moisturizing conditioner, the Shea Cashmere. Love this stuff, y'all, and it smells good. And another, oh, that smells. Another thing about the VO5 and Suave products is less than $2. Can't go wrong with that, y'all, okay? Um, so weekly, co-wash my hair. Weekly, I'm a planner. Let me back up. I'm a planner. I plan how I'm going to wear my hair throughout the week. I just do. So I either wear my hair in a braid out. I either do a braid out that Saturday or Sunday or whenever I co-wash my hair. Or I do a twist out. Okay. Um, Excuse me. I have tons of videos on here of how I do my twist outs and my braid outs. I rarely apply heat onto my hair. I allow my hair to air dry for a few hours and then I actually do the process of twisting or braiding my hair. Um, again, making sure that I use a leave-in, I seal in those moistures, and I also use whatever styling product I have available. Styling products. My go-to styling product forever has been the Curl Hansen Smoothie Mache Moisture. Some of you guys have seen some of my earlier videos um, about two years ago. I love all of the Shea Moisture products, actually. Recently, I bought the Curl and Style Milk. I love this product. I also ordered online because they had a great sale uh, last week, actually. It just ended. 
buy one, get one half off. Or was it? No, it was buy one, get one half off, and then enter family 15 to get an additional 15% off. That was a banging deal. So I went ahead and I purchased the coconut and hibiscus shampoo. That is coming in. And I have used it before because I am addicted to these little kits, y'all. And within these kits, you get four of the products. And they're all here. Um, so within this kit, you get the a little bitty curl enhancing smoothie. You get the curl and style milk. You also get the hold and shine moisture mist, and you get the shampoo. So I'm a big fan of these. If you are not familiar with the Shea Moisture products that are um, sold throughout Target and, and Walgreens, just pick up a little kit like a sampler, and then that way you can decide whether or not this product is for you or not. Personally, I love the product. Okay. Um, other styling products that I love, the, again, these are my go-to products. The Cantu Leave-In Condition and Repair Cream. Um, I use this as a leave-in. Sometimes I use it as a styling product to actually set my twist. Along with the Kimé Tube Leave-In Conditioner. Y'all, I love that recipe. Absolutely love it. My go-to gel, Echo Style Styling Gel. Now y'all, my, my Albertson, since I live in a predominantly Caucasian neighborhood, they had this on sale for a dollar, so I bought like five of them. I normally go to the Korean store and get the big gallon, five gallon of Echo Style um, gel, but I don't live, out, I don't work out there as much anymore. So I just stock up on those. So what I just went through real quick are my go to uh, products that I use on my hair weekly depend on what type of style I'm doing. Now, monthly, I deep condition my hair. And my deep conditioner usually consists of, um, and it changes you guys all the time depending on um, how dry my hair and what I've been doing with my hair that month. So my deep conditioner always includes a package of the olive oil replenishing pack, one pack of that, um, half a cup of honey, a fourth of a cup of olive oil, and then um, half of a cup of any conditioner. Normally it's my coconut by Suave, but sometimes I'll use the almond and shea butter conditioner. I will leave that on my hair, apply it section by section, and leave that on my hair for about an hour. If I have more time, even better. Put a shower cap on my head um, so that, that can my hair can literally heat up. And then I rinse that out. And then I begin my style for that week. Okay, I do that every month. I used to do it every three weeks sometimes, but I ain't got time for that. Mm -mm. So every month I make sure I deep condition my hair. When it comes to washing my hair, I use the moisturizing shampoo by VO5. I have used organics that you guys can see from my product review, but I prefer to use that cheap stuff. <laughs> I also use a tropical, tropical co coconut shampoo. And y'all, to be quite honest, I only shampoo my hair, excuse me, I also use the Clarifying Shampoo by VO5. I probably shampoo my hair once every two months. I'm going to be quite honest. It depends on if I have any product. Again, product buildup. Again, I'm listening to my hair to make sure, uh, do I need to really wash my hair, you know. <laughs> so that's what I do every two months. Every three months, I wear my hair in a protective style that lasts for at least two weeks. This past round, I did the semi mini twist. Um, coming up, since it's not very, very hot here in Phoenix, it's great, beautiful weather right now. I'm going to be wigging it up. I'm going to um, flat twist my hair back and wear a banging ass wig for about two weeks, y'all. Um, so that's what I do every three months. I wear my version of a protective style. Since I don't know how to braid, I usually wig it up or I do semi mini twists, okay? I also tend to wear a lot of protective styles during the week. Not a lot, but I wear at least one or two protective styles during the week. As you can see, my hair is in this bun and my ends are protected, okay? Um, every six months or so, I cut my hair. I do believe in trimming your hair. I do not see how you can go six, seven months without cutting those ends, y'all. I dust my hair, um, which you twist your hair and you cut at the very bottom. Anything that's, that's just cut your split ends, basically. Um, but 
I have gone and had my hair cut and my hair grows back, it's hair. It will grow back, okay? So you do wanna make sure, in my opinion, that you do trim your hair at least once or twice a year. I am a firm believer in trimming your hair. I limit myself as far as flat ironing and y'all, it's it's setting, the, the sun is setting, so let me try to hurry up. I do limit how much heat I put on my hair. Um, three, four times a year, a blowout, that is it. Flat irons, maybe once or twice a year. That is it. Um, so I had about two small cotton balls of hair come out. And y'all, I obviously did not miss it. <laughs> my hair is still pretty freaking thick. Did not miss it at all. So yes, I detangled my hair with conditioner in the shower, section by section. Um, oh, let me go back to maintaining my styles I have to maintain my styles I know some people don't sure Jay mentioned that she does not put anything on my on her head and she wakes up looking fabulous don't know how she does it at night I maintain my twists and my um my braid outs with these goodie bands and since I have so much hair I put about six or seven of these all the way around and then I sleep with a satin bonnet I don't sleep with a satin pillowcase, satin sheet, satin curtain, satin underwear. I don't do all that. I sleep with a satin bonnet. That is it. Um, and I'm pretty, pretty, pretty good about making sure I have a bonnet. I have bonnets all around the house. And that extra large bonnet is working fabulous for me. So you guys, that is my hair regimen. That is what I do. I listen, one, one thing that I wanna mention, I really do listen to my hair. Um, I don't try to do too much, okay? If something's working, I stick with it. Um, like I mentioned before, if I'm using a new product or if I try a new product, it's because it's on sale or someone did a banging review on it. Only reason why I'm gonna use that product, y'all. It's shaky, um, camera is shaky, and I'm so sorry I'm rushing through this because it's setting, and I'm getting dark, honey. I love dark skin, so come on, son. <laughs> All right, y'all, thank you so much for subscribing and thank you so much. Um, thank you so much for watching. And thank you to all of my new subscribers. I have nearly a thousand subscribers, y'all. I'm really excited about that. And I really do um, appreciate all of your support. Take care, everyone. Bye. What I did is this is my hair. I, I'm scratching. Anyway, this video is not about my freaking hair. Um, I have used that apple cider vinegar once to wash my hair and I did not like that. I did not like smelling like Massingill. I hate to say that. I need to edit this damn video. I hate to say Thought I heard something. Mama ears.